Hi everyone, so today I've decided to do a first impression review on Clinique's Beyond Perfecting. So this is a foundation and built-in concealer with an application tip, as you can see. Uh, so this is a very full coverage foundation which has a matte finish. Um, and what it is, it absorbs oils when oil is present and it adds hydration when the skin is dehydrated. So it's a little bit more custom fit to all skin types unlike something like Double Wear where it's oil free and it's only suited to, well it is suited to all skin types when the skin's prepped well but if you're a dry skin you'll probably find it is a quite a little bit drying because there's no hydration or oil to nourish the skin while it's on it. This doesn't have an SPF in it, it's to keep the skin, sorry it's, it's to keep the foundation as pure as possible so that the formula stays um, the way it does and it has that perfecting finish. Sometimes um, SPFs can be a little bit heavy in uh, foundations and change the formula a little bit. So this has a 12 hour long wear um, staying power. I have huge expectations for this foundation. I use Clinique's Even Better um, foundation and it's for a dry combination skin and I always kind of steer away from things that are a bit more of a matte finish because I like a nice fresh dewy finish but I really like a heavy coverage and because it has these spheres in it that um, absorb oil but then they release hydration when needed I think it would be quite an extraordinary foundation to be honest so I think we'll get straight into it and just see how this wears. Um, I'll pop back after work, I'm currently on my way to work so that's why my eyes are done and I haven't um, you know, obviously put my face on. I'm using the colour cream whip, I think this should be the right colour, it's a golden tone. I was a bit concerned, I think I might go up to the other colour, I'll just have to see how it looks on camera. So. First I'm just going to prep my skin with Collections um, Primed and Ready. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques buffing brush and so what they say to get a really full coverage is to swipe along the face because you can have this as a um, moderate coverage as well. And I'm going to do three dots. I feel like I'm going to need more than this. I love a big cakey face. <laughs> and I'm just going to go all over. And we'll just go down there as well. From what I know of, this foundation has a lot of playtime, um, so it has a lot of, I don't know, you can just work with it a lot longer than something like um, an oil free foundation such as, I hate to compare it to Double Wear but it is, like you know, Double Wear I always found, I would try and use it and I could only put it on one side of my face because if I put it on the other, um, if, I, if I put it on both, it would dry up and I couldn't move it. So it seems to go quite a long way actually. And already the skin looks so, it looks quite yellow on camera but I swear to god it's not like that. So that's just one like layer of foundation and it seems to have covered up everything quite well like I don't have any of my acne scarring or anything like that showing through so you know I always generally go two coats to get a full coverage but to know that I can just get a full coverage in one coating is pretty awesome so yeah really happy with that and now I'm just about to conceal that I think that's all I really need because I reckon I've got enough coverage all over the rest of my face. Oh my god, and it goes such a long way. I've put way too much on. So I guess if you're like a double wear user or a colour stay user, this is something that you would really like. Oh, it's going on with my eye. Yeah, I will do one more zoom up under my eyes so you can kind of see. So yeah, full coverage under the eyes with that concealer application tip. And again, you can see that my my skin is looking very, very flawless and got quite a nice full coverage without looking too heavy. 
So I think with this I'm going to use a translucent powder. I don't want to add any extra coverage and I think because the formula is so... Ugh. Um... What is on that? Do I have a blush on that? Ugh. Um, so I'm going to just finish it off with the Clinique's Translucent Invisible um, Blended Powder. I don't want to use too heavy of a um, powder. I don't need it. I truly do not believe I need it. But I don't want my skin too matte either because I love dewy. Uh, well, I love dewy skin. But I also do like a matte finish. I just don't want it to be super matte. Um, because, like I said, I can see that it's settling down. It's still, it was dewy at the beginning, and now it's starting to soften down. So I don't want to over matte it. So I'm just going to put it just through the T zone to set it, where I might get a little bit oilier. Um, but that's it. That's all I wanted. Okay, so I'm just about to head off to work. Um, already running late, which is awesome. <laughs> so um, I think I'll just quickly take a photo for you guys to see if there's any flashback. Um, I'm hoping there's not because there's no SPF in it. So let's just have a look. So if you ask me, that was pretty incredible actually um, seeing what the photo finish was like and it's so flawless and there's no flashback so I'm sold I'm really happy with that um, but yeah I'm just gonna shoot off to work and it is currently 8.30 in the morning so I will um, probably be back around 6 o'clock for um, to give you guys an update on what it's all looking like um, I have got a slight cold at the moment so it may um, rub off around my nose but yeah we'll just check in and see how it's going okay bye hey guys so I'm back from work and it's currently 10 past 6 in the afternoon and all I can say is holy shit this stuff is insane it has not budged it has not started to shine if anything it's just like got a soft radiance about it um, Oh my god, like I haven't had to touch up at all. Like I feel like it still looks like what it was when I left this morning for work. Generally throughout the day, well like maybe like once throughout the day, I will um, top up around like my chin area. Um, but I haven't had to touch that, nothing. <laughs> Didn't have to powder down, there's no shine. Um, yeah, I'll just zoom up a little bit for you guys to have a look. So you probably see this, <laughs> the concealer is insane. I would never have guessed having a concealer built into the foundation, it would actually conceal and not look heavy or, or where it could be too diluted where you feel like you're not getting enough coverage. But um, that is just incredible. I have not had to do anything to this. I'm so amazed. I did have heaps of compliments from my um, co-workers. They noticed I was wearing something different, but they said it's such a nice powdery finish. But I had a lot of radiance to it at the same time, which is awesome because I think that's always a nice, um, kind of like what I expect um, from a foundation like this. You'll find this um, now at all Clinique counters. Um, it was launched, well, I think it came in store only yesterday, so it's now on counter. So if you guys want to go check that out and uh, get it applied on counter, see what your color is. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys want to see this again. If there's anything um, that you guys want me to review or if there's anything that's not out there... Um, that hasn't been reviewed please do comment let me know if there's anything that I can go and get and do a review for you guys and yeah if you guys haven't subscribed I'd love it if you could be a part of my little channel and yeah um, I guess I'll speak to you guys soon